Today, I'm going to make a buttermilk pie. My friend Beth first shared this recipe with me in the early 80s, but her recipe made three pies. So I have found a recipe on Pinterest that is similar to hers and makes only one pie. So I have that one linked below and it is the one that I will be following today. I'm going to use one pre-made pie crust, unbaked. You of course can make your own pie crust, but I had this one in the freezer and wanted to use it up. I also need one and a quarter cup granulated sugar, two tablespoons of flour, three eggs, one half cup of butter melted, one cup of buttermilk, two teaspoons of vanilla, which I forgot to show in this photo, and a pinch of salt. I'm going to set my pie crust aside and preheat my oven to 350 degrees. I am going to start by placing my sugar and flour into a large bowl and whisking them together until they are combined. Next, I will pour in the three eggs and whisk those into the sugar mixture. Then, the melted butter, buttermilk, the two teaspoons of vanilla, and a sprinkle of salt. And whisk those vigorously until everything is combined and the mixture is smooth. I'm going to get my pie crust now and I like to put it on a baking dish just in case I spill. Um, I'm pouring my batter into the pie crust and then I'm going to put it in the oven at 350 for about one hour. I will be checking it around 40 minutes to make sure that the top is not getting too brown. If so, I will lay a piece of foil loosely over the top. And that is exactly what I needed to do. So here is my finished pie. It has been in the oven at right at an hour. And now I'm going to just remove it um, to a rack to cool for a couple of hours before we cut it. And here is the finished pie. It's beautiful, it's firm, and it was delicious. The only problem is that um, a lot of butter pooled at the bottom on top of the crust, and so I think next time I will cut the butter back to maybe a third of a cup, and I will also cut the sugar back to just one cup. Buttermilk pie is one of my husband's favorite desserts, so I was happy to make this for him, and I hope that if you make it, you will enjoy it as much as we do. Thanks so much for watching.